Oh, goody, 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 goody. So, welcome back to another review here at Total Toy Recon. Um, yeah, I'm a little excited about this one. So, I recently asked General Giant if they would send me a couple of the new one scale minibus. And they said, hey, we happen to have a Pona Baba. And I'm like, you have Walrus Man? What? So they sent me their 2019 Premier Guild Gift uh, Pona Baba for review. Now, I am super excited because, one, this is like one of the weird Star Wars characters that I really, really dig. I mean, he's on screen for like a couple seconds and then boom. But, I mean, he's like legend. You know what I mean? Like he is character that actually allows us to see what a Jedi can do, especially an old one, really, really quick. Um and, you know, it sets some mood, you know, for the bar. And all of a sudden, you know, maybe we can't trust anybody. And now we're moving on from this guy to the this guy who, you know, looks human. Is a Helen Solo okay guy? We don't really know yet. So are Luke and Obi-Wan in for it? Um, oh, it looks like they can handle themselves. This guy is going to be rough. So um, really super stoked to get a lot of the... Uh, the the citizens of the cantina the the monsters the creatures all the craziness that goes into it i've recently reviewed blue snaggletooth and i've got uh lax uh so i'm getting a lot of these and they're really really cool and i just they're so weird and they're so much fun um uh, as much as i like star trek i'm a big star trek fan for some reason their aliens never just do it for me i always think they're on the quick they're on the cheap and then even if in the J.J. Abrams universe, I just don't think those are aliens. They just don't sing to me. They don't work. But for some reason, Star Wars aliens work. So let's do a quick box here. Oh, yeah. Did you see that? Oh, oh, what? Wait, what? Where's his, where's his arm? This, oh, there he is on the back. Ooh, there he is on the back. Oh, wait. Oh, oh wait. There, we have an arm on this side. Now, if we go to the other side, oh, arm. And the no arm. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's going to be so much fun. So these are limited edition to 500. So how many do we actually have left in the world that you can actually get? You know, is it possible to still pick one up on General Giant? Check it out. Now, I have actually gone on to the secondary market. And I have tried to say, like, what is the value of this at this moment? And believe it or not, it happens to be somewhere between 200 and and 19 to 299 dollars and what what baffles my mind is what i'm about to do is open it yes i'm going to open it when it has a secondary market price like that and you know why because i absolutely love these characters love it this is so much fun oh god we have 337 of 500 there is our Gentle Giant Letter of Authenticity, Premium Gift Guild. And then, oh, wow, we could really, this is from 2019. So this is from before the pandemic. This bad boy's been sitting in a box for quite some time. Let's see who's in there. Ooh, wow, look at this. So definitely want to check our reviews. See, see who we have. I don't think we've reviewed The Mandalorian. Definitely have not reviewed this leia um this is a jumbo figure we did we did review the vader so you can see that one and we did review the ray and the luke and this one and this one and this one and this one so wow from 2019 uh i think the kylo may be the only one maybe the mandalorian i have to look i mean i have so many of these in boxes now i've got to double check who i have who i don't have um the luke was a oh, the luke was a favorite he's so good he's so good in that look and then we have, who do we have on the back all right nothing on the back all right so take care of this open him up slide him out and do we have so here we have a premium guild if, if you look at any of my general giant reviews I always ask the question, why is it not stamped with the Star Wars logo? Some are and some aren't. So you figured, okay, this one's a premium guild. It should be stamped with the logo. It is not. Hmm. Still haven't quite figured it out. And we're under, you know, there's only 500 in here, but we're not at the halfway mark. So maybe the halfway mark is it. I don't know. And I'm going to have to start going back to my old reviews and looking at them to see if I can kind of piece it together. It could just be random. Too. It could just be up oh, this this styrofoam mold got got it. These other ones did not. So the cool part about this about this bust 
is that we're going to get one version with, we can take it with the hand and without it. So this is really in the tape, really good. And bring it just a little bit more. And what I'm doing here, and I've talked about this before, so if you're, if you're hearing this again, I'm sorry, I bookend this so I know how to fold it back over. And why do I do that? Ooh, look at that finger. Why do I do that? Because I literally use this to store it. I'll put it back in here and I rotate them, especially with these guys. I've gotten so many of the Cantina aliens now. The wife loves Star Wars, absolutely loves it, but she likes to rotate it. So we do different seasons. We do different changes, aliens. Crit I mean, Halloween's always great because you always put out some really fun ones then. But this guy is just awesome. So, and yes, we will talk about the different hands. So, put this out. Now, bring him in here. Now, so what we're really looking at here is we're looking at three pieces and a variation of different modes, uh, well, two different versions of Pono Baba, a.k.a. the Walrus Man. So, finger is being our most dangerous touch point. And this is the first thing that's going to break. And you kind of wish they wouldn't have done the pointing, but, you know, they got to do the pointing. Um, so here we have reiteration of 337. And we're going to start with the cut hand, the cut arm. So one thing I love about Gentle Giant is that they put a magnet in here. It's just not, it really makes it stick. So look, look at that. It just jumped out of my hand right into that spot. So here we have the, now this is cool that it's the severed hand. Would it be nice if the severed hand was included so that you could put it down here? Yes, it would be. However, it's a little gross. Um, but would he still be in this position if he was pointing? See, that's the thing that makes it interesting. So you almost need two arms to really sell it. Now, I know I'm being really picky, and I know I'm just being, like, kind of a heel. But I'm just pointing out things because, obviously, I love it. So now I'm just kind of like, what's what could I change? Ooh, so here we have some really nice details here in the Han Solo style gun. A little bit different here on the end, not quite Han Solo's gun. But look at the handle. Got a red handle in there. It's a little bit of fur tough coming through here. And then we have the Han, we have the Luke Skywalker Yavin jacket at the end, obviously. But yeah, see now there you go. So one thing that I'm going to point out is that, and I'm going to use a Star Wars Black Series Pono Baba from, oh God, when is this from? Like, this got to be like 2012, 2010, something like that. Um, yeah, it's, I'm sorry that I don't even remember. But anyway, this was a Walmart exclusive. And the one thing I'm going to point out is that, yes, we have regular humanoid hands here. But here we have the hands that are a little bit more like, it's like almost like a hoof with some fingers in it. So this is a little bit different. This figure includes that. So I'm surprised that for the premium guild, they didn't have different versions of the hand. Now, if you look, different shots, what's laying on the ground, everything is a little different. This is because they filmed some of the scenes over in England and then some of the scenes back in California. So we get a little bit different of, oh, what's going on here? But this Black Series, um, 375 that I picked up at Ollie's for 10 bucks recently um, really does have a lot of the different pieces that you need. Um, our, our little cameo guy that popped up earlier, um, this is actually the Pona Baba from the Cantina Encounter. So here we have the finger pointing. Nice. Um, this is actually, and then he had this vest that they kind of did. So you can kind of pop this off. Um, this was a figure a friend of mine gave me recently. I, I looked for the in-box version that I have here, but I cannot find it anywhere in my collection. I've actually been considering opening it because it's the only Dr. Azarian that I have, his little cohort. But a very, very cool release. Um, and it's nice to have upgrades. I Of course, I have my original Kenner one, which is more like a walrus man because of his feet. This is more of the alien. However, let's get back to this bad boy. So... As, as I was saying, love the hands, really great detail. I love the dirty, gritty jacket. The head does not move, but we do have the tusks here. Really a nice touch. Love the big eyes. Um, and this is just one of those pieces that, yep, this is Star Wars. Everything about it is lived in. It's worn. 
And this is a Premium Guild 2019 exclusive. So you had to be a member of the Premium Guild to get this. I'm really starting to feel like I should be a member at this point. And this is not my last Premium Guild review. And in fact, I've got several more coming up. So you definitely want to check those out. Um, again, I want to thank Gentle Giant for sending this beautiful piece. Definitely going into my collection. Uh, that's going to be maybe even on the permanent display collection. Um, and that's the one that goes in my office. That is... You know, the wife has nothing, has no control over. So but definitely want to be careful. We got danger points here, danger points here, but an awesome collectible. And I will set him down to kind of give you some scale. Get rid of these bags here. Give you some scale. So here we have Ponababa, the figure. Now this one's a little bit on the, you know, on the, he's leaning side, but here's an original Kenner Boba Fett. No, oh, you know, not enormous. And then of course I have my, first order six inch figure so you can see he's just under the six inch figure but fantastically designed this is bob from total toy recon i've gushed way too much about this Pona Baba. have a good night